I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Breaking news coming out of the Middle East here. Uh, a Russian Su-24 uh, bomber jet has been downed by an F-16 Turkish uh, fighter uh, when the Russian uh, jet was within one mile uh, or one kilometer of the Turkish airspace there. Uh, Turkey uh, did send a warning for the Russian uh, bomber, but Russia was clearly not out of its own airspace of where it is uh, combating the uh, ISIS forces in Syria. Uh, but nonetheless, the Turkish government took the steps, shot down uh, the Russian Su-24 bomber from the sky. Both the pilots have ejected. There's no word as of yet what the conditions of, or the, of the uh, pilots are, if they've been captured by ISIS or whatever. Uh, we do know, though, that, uh, that the president uh, of Russia, uh, Vladimir Putin, has called this a stab in the back uh, by uh, Turkey, a NATO member. Uh, when he says, clearly, we had already made uh, agreements with NATO, who is also fighting supposedly ISIS in the area. Uh, we do know that Turkey has been attacking the Kurds uh, in this area as well. Uh, so therefore, we know that they're not uh, fighting ISIS. They are attacking uh, other members that are important. The United States is using the Turkish air base uh, to launch its own ISIS campaign there in the uh, Middle East there. Uh, also, we had uh, a, uh, an attack on... Uh, at one place there where RT news reporters were at, there was a shell lobbed in there. The journalist, one of the journalists was uh, wounded in the arm with shrapnel from the bomb. The other one caught a little small shrapnel to his face, uh, but they all survived. They're all in, in, in okay condition there. It's a very serious situation, very tense indeed. Uh, we will be trying to get uh, later uh, this evening Brother Gary Lowry on our news broadcast with us there. Brother Gary actually has... Uh, had a vision about a year, year and a half ago. Now, in his vision, he saw an F-16 fighter go down. Uh, and I'm just wondering uh, if maybe his vision, if he sees this, if he just maybe misunderstood the vision, uh, and it was actually the F-16 downing a Russian fighter in, the, in this case here. Nonetheless, he did see it go down in the Syrian mountains. It was the, actually the beginning of the Third World War. It was the thing that catapulted into a Third World War. So there may still be a downing yet of an F-16. Russia may do that next on the mountains of Syria. Uh, but nonetheless... The situation is very serious. It is uh, very, very uh, serious indeed, uh, especially with President Putin calling this a stab in the back. It is a NATO member that has done it. Uh, it is really an act of war when you come right down to it, especially when there is supposed to have been safeguard measures uh, while Russia was operating in this area to take out ISIS. And then one of the NATO members actually attacks a Russian uh, issue uh, 24 bomber that is not there to bring any aggression whatsoever against the Turkish people. Uh, very serious. There's a, there is an emergency meeting at NATO at this very moment. Um, we know that Russia has been bombing the the oil refineries and the and the uh, the money supply line, which Turkey, uh, the United States uh, member, some of the EU members of uh, Europe have been involved in purchasing this illegal oil. Uh, it traces all over the place biblically. It's actually written uh, in the Bible as well that, that, that the oil from uh, Assyria would go into Egypt. Uh, so, so it's a very major complex deal that's, that's going on there in the Middle East there. Russia has stopped that supply line. America, uh, of course, France bombed one little place of it there, making it look like they were trying to do something. But Russia went in there and really stopped the economic supply powerhouse that ISIS had control of. And this may have angered Turkey. Who knows what, it, what the reasons are right now. Uh, but nonetheless, it is a, certainly a, 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 a situation that could easily spiral into a third world war. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and good day.